The children of the Amar Atzot, the Balet Shuve. Because it's a known thing that those important souls, the Nikhbadot, the Neshakot, that been kidnapped, Betoch Atikla, into that hidden place, place of confusions, Amur Bazar, that's written in the Zohar, Beklipot Noga, in the Noga husks, means the places that you cannot know the truth, you cannot define between good to bad. You see husks, but in the same time you see that they're good for you. You see uh, mitzvot, and you realize that those are the real mitzvot of the Torah, but they're ja damaging you. So there is a place like that, that a person can find the Hashem uh, in, uh, in, 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 in a temple of uh, worshipping idols in, uh, in India, uh, between those uh, swamis, and you can find Hashem over there. Really, Hashem is communicating with him through the mouths of those swamis, and uh, how can it be? But you're going to ask that person, and that person is going to tell you he doesn't care about those swamis. He, he's, he's searching for Hashem, and he finds him over there in those contaminated places. And another person, he decides that he wants to go to pray Shachrit in a minyan in a Bet Knesset. And it's a mitzvah, and there's no doubts about it, and there's no one religious normal person, I'm not normal, so no problems, <laughs> that is not keeping that mitzvah to go to pray in a bit Knesset, so what's going on? And that person is trying to do that, and, and he cannot. For his wife, it's the worst thing that ever happened to her in her life, that her husband wants to go to pray in a bit Knesset. And you ask, why? Well, what's the problem? It's a mitzvah, it's the best thing. Hashem should support me to keep that mitzvah, to put filin, to keep Shabbos, purity of the family. And it's, it, for you, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a damage. So, the, there is a place like that. <laughs> the day and night are mixing in that place. And, and, and it's in twilight zone. You, can, you don't know where, where you are. You want to serve Hashem, and to serve Hashem... It's, it's the biggest mistake now for you. And you, you have your issues, why not to? And, and you find Hashem over there. A person can decide that he's going to sin, and he go to sin, and over there he finds Hashem. A person can decide a lot of things like that. So, in that place, there are souls that are stuck in that place. Those are the souls of the Baal Shuvah. The souls that, first of all, in the beginning, they've been kidnapped from the side of the Kedusha by the snake, by the Yetzirah, and he swallowed them, and now they're in his territory. But after a while, like Rabbein is explaining in a different Torah, the Tzaddik went through those pipes, he went through all of those contaminated places, and he kidnapped those souls, and he brought them out. But now, they're still very contaminated, but they're not under the control of the Yetzirah anymore. They're in the hands of the tzaddik, but a lot of confusions over there. So, we need to respect those souls. We need to understand that those souls are very important. How you can tell that they're important? Because they've been kidnapped. This is first of all. Why the Yetzara took them? When the beginning, when the Nazis took, started to fight against the Jews over there. So what first thing that they done was to, to, to take the leaders the most important people, the people that, that had influence on, on the public, the rabbis and, and the leaders of the, 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 the Zionism, the Zionist, the politic, the, the, and, and they, they fired the, the, the managers of the banks and, and the lawyers. And First of all, why? Because this is how you, you ruin. You take the, the most important souls and, and you break them, you break the spirit of, of, of the nation. So the ones that have been kidnapped... They could be the leaders of the nation, but now they've been kidnapped, and no one is listening to them. But behind all of that, it's the, this is Hastara Shebetoch Hastara. Hashem is Barach is standing in those hidden places. Why? Because it, it's, it's Hashem's plan. Hashem made it to happen. Why? Because now you can see a person that he doesn't have a weapon in his hand, he doesn't know how to read, he doesn't know how to learn. So the Yetzara is not afraid of him so to speak, anymore. Because Yetzirah is looking, a person is he's, he's not capable of doing nothing, he cannot fight, it's not a righteous man that have whole shots 
that is supporting him, that have thousands of hours of prayers that supports him, that got a family, holy family, he's coming from a, from a very respected family that can support him spiritually. He doesn't have grandfathers that are standing and praying on him. He doesn't have merits of, of, of Pidyon Shvuim in his body. He doesn't have nothing. He's, he's poor. So the Yetzirah is not afraid from a poor person. And now that poor person, actually, Hashem Barak, inside of his heart, bringing huge will, and, and, and Hashem is increasing that will for Kedusha, for holiness, and Hashem gives him abilities, but he's like undercover. No one is, no one, no one is paying attention to him. Who are you? You're bad shuba. Even on Rav Shalom Arush, there are so many people that are not accepting from him because he's a bad shuba. He said, like, no, a bad shuba, another book of a, a new age book. Okay, a bad shuba. And, and, and you see that that righteous man, by that fact that he's hidden and no one is listening to him and no one is looking at him, he can make steps. He's running forward and he's not listening. And no one is looking. No one is observing. Oh, it's a bal tshuva. Okay, another uh, amaretz. Okay, another uh, oh, yeah. Where have you learned? I haven't. So, and what are you doing? Oh, I'm doing it by the dude. Who cares about you? This is it. And now you can work. Oh. Hashem is doing all of that. Hashem is doing all of that. Because like that, that we're now under that disguise, we can run forward. We can achieve things that no one else can do. Would that be...